This week's Honest Trailer is brought to you by D&D Beyond. D&D is for everyone. D&D Beyond makes it easy to play. Register for free at dndbeyond.com to start your adventure. From the studio, you know the one. There's only like two of them left now anyways. Comes a series based on silly comic books, like what if Iron Man fought King Arthur? Or what if Wolverine was a vampire that dares to imagine something even more ridiculous? What if MCU writers could try something new? But not like new, new, just a slight remix of some old favorites. Let's not go too crazy here. Marvel's What If. Enjoy some wild animated experiments that stay true to the MCU by having no real beginning or end, no real message to get behind, and every character from the most hardened warrior to the most powerful cosmic being speaks like an AI barfing out Chandler Bing dialogue. I simply abhor drama. Your outfit would suggest otherwise. <laughs> yeah. Uh, guys, I'm covered in Sharon. <laughs> Do you guys just not have horror movies in Wakanda? We don't need them. We have American reality shows. Boom goes the dynamite. Right now, you're running at an eight, and I need you to take it down to a four. Your team building instincts need bruh. Yeah, 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 yeah. Tell the HR. <laughs> okay, I don't sound like that. That is so not true. <laughs> Oof. That happened. Meet the Watcher, the other extremely powerful comics character who swore never to intervene in human affairs that we're meeting this fall. Hi. He's a messy b who lives for drama, and this Jeffrey Wright-shaped planetarium will guide you through alternate timelines, like what if England had a pop culture icon who wasn't a sociopath? What if every franchise was better without Chris Pratt? What if all the Avengers died and also Agent Coulson was a five on the Kinsey scale? He's a Caucasian male, mid-twenties, with really great hair. It's an accurate description. He's gorgeous. Hashtag Steve, Steve, Steve. I heart Steve. Even while rotting, he smells like lavender. What if the universe had it out for Rachel McAdams? You know, Dr. What's-Her-Face? What if she was the key to all of this? Any interest? What if zombies? You guys still like zombies, right? Sort of? Okay, how about this one? What if Killmonger, the most sympathetic villain in the entire MCU, was just destined to become evil? Like, no matter what, someone should have killed him in his crib. What do you mean this isn't working for you? Fine, we'll do it your way. What if Ultron stole Vision and chopped off Thanos' arm and ate the universe and was like, Rawr, I'm gonna eat you too! And the Watcher had to be like, not on my watch! And they start punching, and Avengers fly out and the robots get hit with the shields again! Okay, we, you good? Did you little content piggies get what you came for? Come on, why are you crying? Oh, right, this is a show for kids. I forget that sometimes. Kick back and listen to find out which of your favorite actors needed to pick up an extra check during COVID. Don't play the fool with me, Fury. Michael Douglas? Really? Then get genuinely choked up when you realize you're hearing Chadwick Boseman do T'Challa for the last time. It doesn't feel over. And finally, wonder what Dave Batista did that caused Disney not to even reach out. All right, principles. But regardless, thrill as a bunch of million dollar voices emerge from heroes who look like the caricatures you pay 10 bucks for at a town fair. Because while Disney's built its entire brand on top quality animation, everyone deserves a break now and then. It's been a tough year. Are we sure they didn't buy DreamWorks too? You know what's hot right now? The multiverse. And after Endgame helped set up the idea of the multiverse, and WandaVision teased the possibilities of the multiverse, and Loki explained the scope of the multiverse, and Doctor Strange 2 gives us multiverse madness, what if we'll drive the message of the multiverse home even further? We're all one of an infinite number of variants going through the same sh our struggle seen only by a voyeuristic space walnut who could save us from our fates at any time but won't. Wow, there had to be an easier way than killing Free Will to explain why Terrence Howard can't play Rhodey anymore or whatever. He thinks one times one is two. So if you want to see your favorite Marvel characters and exciting new stories that stretch the imagination, buy a comic book. But if you want more of the things you already liked, combined with other things you already liked, resulting in something slightly less than the sum of its parts, well, what if? There was nothing else to watch until Eternals comes out. Wow, look at him stand there. Can't wait. Starring. I only watch the multiverse for the articles. You Captain America. The cat is the Pratt. Someone, please take this man's driver's license. Ah! 
Glove, Death and Robots. Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. Scarlett Nohanson, Gundam Wang, Futurama Did It, Asgardian Pie, Precario, Hentai Squid, and... This is what happens when you mess with a mouse, Robert. <laughs> you have to die. Oh, no. oh, I'm gonna bomb. I'm definitely gonna bomb. But why? Male ducks have corkscrew penises. Just putting that out there. I now pronounce you Darcy and a duck. Uh huh. Oh. This week's Honest Trailer is brought to you by D&D Beyond. D&D Beyond makes it easy to play. Register for free at dndbeyond.com to start your adventure. I love Honest Trailer's takes, riffing on mistakes, Emmys they should win, and twins.